this weekend, we have a special car. We have the Dodge minivan. Never driven a minivan to this caliber. The inside is massive and the, the dashboard looks like something out of a spaceship, but so far so good. It's Memorial Day weekend and we actually couldn't even get into the park so we're at a library outside of Zion National Park and we're parked here and then we're gonna have to shuttle in if we wanted to get here probably enough time to get into the park we would have had to leave at like 2 a.m. from Salt Lake City today we're doing some of the hikes that have really good views in Zion National Park but we are not doing Angel Landing because yesterday when I woke up I forgot that you needed a permit so I didn't get a chance to sign up for the lottery until this morning before we left. For those of you that don't know, Angel's Landing is one of the best hikes here and it's also one of the most dangerous hikes in America. Kaylee looked it up on the way here and apparently 17 people have died there. So I don't necessarily wanna go because it's dangerous but apparently it has great views so it's one of the reasons why I really wanted to do it. So I'm really hoping that I get confirmed on the lottery today but we just have to wait and see. When you have no napkins on the trail. Might be asking Nick, why wear sweatpants in 80 degree weather hiking in basically Arizona? Well, Kaylee told me it was supposed to be 60 degrees today and cloudy. That's so, what the weather app said. So I'm just burning some extra calories today, I guess. I got the results on my phone. If I'm going to be able to hike Angel's Landing tomorrow or not, this is a live reaction. I didn't spoil it. Here we go. Thank you for applying for spring day before lottery, May 26. Oh man. No. Although you weren't initially successful, keep an eye out for other opportunities to secure a permit through the seasonal daily lotteries. That's all right, because I think that we're gonna do the Narrows tomorrow morning anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna wake up early and do the Narrows and that's gonna be super cool. Before we start on the hike, I'm checking the seals on my pants 
which is basically just a rubber tight layer that's a waterproof sock over it. So that's what we're doing because you don't want any crinkles in it. All right, we're about 10 minutes into the hike and it's already getting like to the point where we see people up to their waist or above. So we gotta put the camera away right now, but don't worry. You're still gonna get high we quality. We got the GoPro. We got the GoPro and we have our iPhone. You're still gonna get high quality clips. Haley is stuck at the junction. <laughs> I crossed the river, but it might be a little bit rough. We are about an hour into the hike, and so far I have a few observations. One, there's a lot more people than I thought there were gonna be, like a ton of people. And also a ton of people without like um, any of the gear that makes you basically waterproof. And the water's freezing, so that's off to you, because I don't know if I can make it this far without that stuff. Pretty impressive. And then second, the water current is kind of strong. I thought it was gonna be like deep, but the water current wasn't gonna be as strong, but strong. Kaylee fell over. I think maybe once. Yeah. We made it to what we think is a pretty good turnaround point. There's like beautiful shimmers of water on the rocks, beautiful views of the mountains, and we were super hungry, so we sat down and had lunch. I don't know if we got to what they consider Wall Street, which is what we were shooting for as like our turnaround point, but we want to do like a ton of other stuff today, so we're not dedicating all of our time to the Narrows, unfortunately, but the Narrows are super cool. Up to this point, which we probably hiked like a mile and a half, we only encountered one spot where we were in chest deep water and that was the very beginning. So I think a little bit after this, it gets to be chest deep again, but yeah, it was a really nice time here. I destroyed mine. I was about to say cheers. <laughs> oh, I think I missed that. You almost just wiped out. Oh, and the girl behind you wiped out too. <laughs> Although long, the drive from Zion to Moab, Utah is extremely beautiful. There's red rock almost the entire drive there. Although there's not a ton to see going from Zion to Moab, you can stop at Devil's Canyon, which gives off a Grand Canyon type vibe. Mm -hmm. 
there's like a bunch of food trucks here in Moab that have like every different food that you can think of. I got Greek food and Kaylee got a pulled pork sandwich. We're trying it out. They have like a ton of mist going and it's like freezing. <laughs> We're in the desert. Turn the mist off. The spicy chili sauce. Kaylee's already eaten. <laughs> You already devoured it. <laughs> First hike of the day here in Moab is Corona Arch. As you can tell, I'm already pretty out of breath. I wasn't expecting to have to climb today, but this hike is super awesome because the entire time you're walking on red rock and you have red rock all around you and you get to scale up a rock using chain. Neither of us knew that we had to climb up a metal <laughs> walkway to get to the arch, but here's nothing. How is it? Oh, it's not bad. Okay. There's like footholds. And you get to walk up a ladder. <gasps> and then once you do that, you walk around this massive red rock until you see the Corona Arch. And it's a great way to start the day because the sunrise is coming right above it right now and it just provides for a beautiful view. And even though I'm out of breath, I don't think the hike is too hard. It's a mile and a half up and a, about a mile and a half back. We're on the busiest weekend of the year, I think, here in Moab. It's Memorial Day weekend, and there's not too many people here at about 7 a.m., so it's really nice to kind of enjoy this in some solitude. this on the way up but they have a book right at the beginning of the trail that you can sign. Should I just put it anywhere I guess? Yeah, just put it anywhere. Right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Should I sign for both of us? Yeah. From this point forward our road trip took a major detour. Our plan was originally to go from Corona Arch to Arches National Park and see all the arches there that we've watched so much about on YouTube but our plans changed because once we got to Arches National Park, we realized that you can't get in after a certain point because the park is restricted to time entries and we didn't make a prior day time entry and there were no current day slots available. So we weren't able to go to Arches National Park, which is a major bummer. You do not need a timed entry to Arches National Park if you get there before sunrise or if you're going after sunset. Instead, we ended up going to Canyonland, which is a great alternative and does not not require any type of time entry you can get in with your park pass and we saw Mesa Arch and we saw a bunch of different cool spots that were all relatively close together we are at one of the coolest spots in Canyon land it's called up evil dome the story is that there was a meteorite that hit this area millions of years ago that's why it's all like discolored but you can even tell like it's like a massive circular formation and like the ground is just like disturbed everywhere super cool super interesting and it's really easy to get here it's only like a 0.5 mile hike unfortunately one of the parts of renting a car every weekend is sometimes we're stranded here at the rental car for a little while because the Uber takes a little while to get to us. And this time we have a decent amount of stuff. 